a New York City model, and the rumored paramour of actor Dylan O'Brien has issued an apology after social media users recently unearthed controversial tweets she shared in the past, including posts with the N-word. Hey there guys, what's going on and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Keep watching this video to find out more on Dylan O'Brien's girlfriend exposed for being racist. Who is Rachel Lang? If you don't know who Rachel Lang is, she's a model with the top modeling agency Elite. Rachel Lang, originally from Texas, was born on December 25, 1997. She's now a model based in both New York and Los Angeles. Apart from being a model herself, Lang has also designed and created her own women's apparel line called Dreamers Delicates. Most recently, Teen Wolf star Dylan O'Brien was spotted with model Rachel Lang at Paris Fashion Week on Thursday, January 19, 2023, where the two were seen holding hands. Netizens instantly became curious about who the actor's alleged new love interest might be. Dylan and Lang reportedly color-coordinated their outfits for the event. Both wore black sweaters with dark trousers and camel-colored coats. While Dylan went for a casual look with white sneakers, the model sported knee-high black leather boots. As it seems from her Instagram account, where the model boasts 162,000 followers, Lang also has a knack for photography. On her main Instagram account, there's a link to another account, The Disposable Diaries, where the model exhibits her photographic skills. Her photography seems quite versatile as she posts photos of people, places, and objects on this account. So now that we've covered who she is, let's get into her tweets. Rachel Lang's recent tweets were racist, made light of pedophilia, and slut shamed Taylor Swift. Rachel's old tweets that have surfaced are not a good look. They have since been deleted, but popular Twitter account at Pop Fictions was able to share them for us to see. A screen record of a search of the N-word shows that Rachel tweeted this word casually countless times between the years 2013 and 2016. The responses in the comments are clearly referencing Dylan O'Brien and Taylor Swift's friendship. Last year, Dylan was cast in the short film for Taylor's 10-minute version of All Too Well, joking about how Dylan will dump Rachel for Taylor. In 2013, Rachel even joked about being a pedophile and commented that she had various pictures of small black children on her phone. Is Rachel Lang actually sorry? On Monday, Rachel Lang of Elite Model Management NYC said she was mortified and ashamed of her old posts. I would like to wholeheartedly apologize for past tweets of mine. I'm mortified and ashamed that they exist, and I'm truly disgusted that I ever spoke that way, Lang posted on Twitter. All I can say is that I hear you all and am sorry for the pain I've caused and contributed to. She continued that she wants to make it abundantly clear that she takes full responsibility. She said she was extremely ignorant, and while she didn't remotely resonate with the things she once said, there is zero justification for her ever having said them. I understand the significance that my words have, and I'm deeply sorry for the hurt I've caused, she concluded. Lang's questionable tweets gained major traction when pop culture news site Pop Factions posted about the ordeal on Twitter. The site posted a tweet on Saturday which highlighted Dylan O'Brien's girlfriend Rachel Lang is currently being called out for being racist after multiple tweets of her using the N-word resurfaced online. Rachel Lang, however, has since deleted the tweet and blocked a few people on TikTok who called her out. This was followed by a video featuring screenshots of Lang's decade-old social media posts. In the post from 2013 to 2016, Lang, a white woman, casually dropped the N-word. How in the hell is an N-word supposed to get some decent sleep where there are 17 cuckoo clocks in this house, Lang posted back in November 2013. I'm literally such a pedophile, oh my gosh, Lang wrote in another post from September 2013. I have various pictures of small black children in my phone. The tweets have been deleted by Monday, but Pop Faction told the Daily Beast that the publication verified the posts in an extensive search before they were wiped from the model's Twitter profile. Over the past three days, Lang has deleted almost 200 tweets. All of her tweets using slurs, etc., at Dom's Evan BLVD said. Lang had allegedly shared a variety of offensive tweets, making rape jokes, posting transphobic comments, and using homophobic slurs. The Daily Beast also found that Lang engaged with offensive social media posts. 
because Dylan O'Brien responded to the tweet. Rachel's rumored boyfriend, Dylan O'Brien, hasn't made a statement on the matter yet. Rachel and his relationship hasn't been confirmed as of yet, although holding hands at a very public place seems to be a bigger deal than becoming IG official. Now listen, cancel culture is a tricky topic. However, when you've done something to seriously hurt and offend a group of people, you should be held accountable for your words and actions. The best way to apologize is to educate yourself and learn from past mistakes. And with that, we've come to the end of our video. All in all, it's hard to miss that Rachel's tweets were undoubtedly problematic. However, in the light of how celebrities fail to have self-awareness, it helps that she's acknowledged her fault and apologized.